Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsil.com. Today we are here at the Motorola booth at Alpha Berlin 2015, and we have a new device with us, which is called the Motorola Moto X Dial, which is going to be a premium Android phone, which will come to India for a price of approximately 30,000 rupees. And again, this is going to be an upgrade over the Motorola Moto X, which we have seen earlier. They have also announced other devices which are similar in terms of the look and feel, but slightly different in terms of the build quality. This is the Motorola Moto X Play, which will also come, but it will be very affordable, around 20,000 rupees in terms of the price whereas this one is going to be above 25,000 rupees in terms of the price talking about the back panel we have got a bamboo back panel on this one we also have other variants which will come to India so both of these will be available in India and you will have different color options for these back panels which you can go for you can actually design them once but again later on you cannot replace them so they are non removable they are stick to the surface of the phone they will not come out and the battery is also non removable which we have seen earlier as well this has got a 5.6 7 inch Quad HD display which is a bigger display compared to the 5.2 inch Motorola Moto X which we have seen earlier. We have got front speakers over there which are the two speakers and we have 21 megapixel camera at the back which can actually record slow motion videos at 540p which is a very good thing. I have not seen this thing on any other phone right now but it is possible on this one. However, whether you can record 4K video we are not sure. I could not find any option of recording 4K resolution videos from the rear camera on this phone. We have the dual true tone LED flash over there, Motorola branding over there and this is complete metal which looks very nice and good in terms of the build quality, quite premium. We have metal edges which is again aluminium which make this phone look quite premium and also make it quite good in terms of the build quality as well. So over here we can see that we have the power button which is actually a button which is having a texture but it will not give you great amount of feedback, it will give you slight amount of feedback but the volume locker actually gives you better feedback. On the top you have a 3.5 model jack here we have the sim card tray in which you can insert a nano sim at the bottom you have the micro report for data syncing and charging and we have a primary microphone hole over there which at the back side and over there we do have a secondary microphone hole as well again the overall build quality of design design has remained the same but the build quality has improved on this phone which is definitely an improvement compared to the motorola moto x which we have seen earlier this is the second generation you can say and it is called motorola moto x style talking about other specification we have got 5 megapixel front camera which has got led flash as well so it will help you take good selfies apart from this you also have a full day battery backup on this one you can actually get more than one day of battery backup as well and it is a water repellent device it does not have any certification it is water resistant in a way that it is resistant to a splash of water we have the earpiece and loudspeaker over there the proximity and emit light sensors are also over there which is looking nice and then we have these additional sensors which are there on this device we will tell you about these sensors later let's take a look over the display again the display looks super amulet i'm not sure about whether it is super amulet or not but it looks very good it has got snapdragon 808 processor inside which is nice again this processor can give you pretty good performance in day-to-day -day usage and i think it will heat up less compared to snapdragon 810 which is actually known for heating as far as ui is concerned the ui is pretty smooth and responsive and it is a stock android ui which you get on this device again almost stock android not exactly stock android because motorola does not add a lot of bloatware on this device so you do have bloatware but you can uninstall those bloatware applications as well for example you can get rid of the shazam application which is coming pre-installed let's take a look over the software ui we have already talked about the build quality and design further going inside the settings we will take a look over the version of android first of all and we have android 5.1.1 when it comes to other things let's take a look over the storage scenario and here we have the storage we have 32 gb of storage on this device out of that 16 gb is available to the user and if i come back okay if i take a look over this SD card support you do have support for SD card as well that means the slot over there in the sim card tray is going to be in a hybrid slot you can actually insert a SD card as well or you can actually use two sim cards i'm not sure we will just confirm that let me take a look over the display settings on the display settings on the display settings we have support for adaptive brightness as well and if we take a look over the 
other things especially with the application scenario we have good amount of ram on this phone and let me just figure out how much of ram is there so we have 2 gb of ram and out of that 899 mb of ram is free and touch capacity buttons are there within the display so they will take some part of the screen resolution apart from this if we take a look over some other options we do have support for tethering as well and location services are also supported so it is a premium android phone which you can get and you can get a pure android experience on this device and the overall style of this phone is also going to be good you can see that in terms of the style form factor it is a very nice phone it looks good especially with this bamboo back panel which make it look premium and classic as well in terms of the looks let's talk about the camera and again we have the same camera ui which we have seen on other motorola phones on this one as well and here we have the camera ui which has tap to focus and tap to capture as well so let me take a photo of my iphone 6 over there so this one is slightly different i would say but again almost the same kind of camera ui which we have seen earlier so again the front camera has flash and it will automatically fire up let me take a look over the front camera quality this is the kind of clarity you can expect from the front camera which is good again details are not that clear but still this photo has came out to be good because of the flash which was automatically fired up and if we take a look over the rear camera photo this is how the rear camera performance look like it looks good in terms of the colors in terms of details as well it is looking nice but the photo could have been slightly more brighter but overall this is looking nice talking about the camera option i can show you the camera options like whether you can record high definition video or not you can record high definition video and you can record slow motion video at 720p on this phone so this is all we have as far as the quick hands on review of the motorola moto x style it looks like a pretty good phone it is going to be a premium android phone which will cost you good amount of money and you can actually compare this one with other phones out there in the market at the same price point they have lot of options in india especially when it comes to phones which are ranging in between a price point of 25 to 30 thousand rupees this is all we have as far as the quick hands on review of this phone do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you